we're back thank you for joining us and coming back to the Kirsten Meekin channel we're doing nails yet again can you believe it on a nail channel oh my god thank you for being here um we have got andrea in today we're going to do a quick design for those people that want to get your clients in and out and gone because you have had enough of them um, <laughs> thank you sorry andrea not talking about andrea because i could sit and do andrea's nails all night because she is just a gas um <laughs> should we stress that it's night yeah it is <laughs> night and and we do want to go home, but got some beautiful products that I want to show you. We've got these inks. I've not used them yet. I'm pretty excited. But you know when I get new products, I'm so excited, but then I get a little bit nervous. Because I'm like, is it? Is it yeah. going to work out Is it like? Be as good as you think. Yeah. So we've got these inks. So they're from Max Estrada E Nail Couture. They're inks, but then so some of them are like flat inks, and when I say that, they just like colour, and some of them are colour with shimmery pigment, which I've never used before. So excited, but a little bit nervous. <laughs> all at the same time. So we have all these colours. Um, so this Aurora Princess one, let me just show you there. Can you pick up the pigment? Yes. It's like it's a, a green shimmer. Like a yeah, green. Iridescent. Iridescent. Yeah. So that, I thought that was quite cool. I didn't realise till I actually picked them up and was like, "What colour is that?" I shake them and then I was like, "Oh, those are different." Oh, look at this one. This is like a bluey purple, but then that's got a shimmery pigment in it as well. So I'm like excited, and then this is the other one. Or is this the flat one? I can't remember. Yeah, that one's just a flat one. It's this one. Yes, it's this one. Oh, so the all... Oh, I get it now. <laughs> hmm, are you reading things? Yeah. Now. We read the label. <laughs> yeah, so all the ones that say Aurora Princess at the side, them's the shimmery ones. So they've got like shimmery particles running through the ink at the same time. So these two, they look a bit similar though, let me look. A royal princess, a royal princess. Uh, so that's white with a, ah, uh, this is, mm, see I don't think we're gonna use that one. That's so like clear, isn't it? It's, yeah, it's, it's like a clear with it. Whereas this is white with the pigment. Uh, I don't know, I'll keep them out, I might use them both. We'll see. But then we've got like flat colors as well. So they, are a slightly different set. This one says Aurora, yeah, so those four. Oh, look at that, they've got different lids as well. How easy was that? I was just ah! gonna say, <laughs> say that to you, they have got different lids. It's been a long day, you know. <laughs> I know, yeah. <laughs> it's been a long day. <laughs> different lids, and they even say on them what they it are. It could be a short day if you read them and look at the lids. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So anyway, we can mm. use these. <laughs> Those of you that have used inks before will know they work best on a pale base. So I'm going to use white. Um, on some of the nails, I'm going to use bright colours and then we're going to use the light colours. And we're going to see what happens. God, I've got no idea if this will work. Oh dear. I haven't hmm. said no testing today. I did say no experimental videos. Yeah, sorry. At this time of night. Sorry. <laughs> If it, if it goes tits up, we'll just, you, you, we'll just leave them that colour. Yeah. There you are. <laughs> so I'm going to base them with the Kirsten Meekin Base Gel. So this is from our gel polish collection. So while Adam's just making a coffee... <laughs> back. He's back. I am going to do three nails full colour. When did you put that nude on? I didn't. Right, okay. I just need to tell you something now. I've just said to Andrea. Group. Where is me not just a nude? And I was like, oh, I don't need the nude. They're already nude. And she just, she's just said to me, <laughs> when did you put that nude on? <laughs> Andrea, I've not put a nude on. I've put a base coat on. Your nails are nude because they are a cover pink powder. It's <laughs> already nude. <laughs> 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 oh, you do need a 
Kathy as well. <laughs> there's the joke. I don't remember your painting. You know? You're like, God, uh, that was quick. Yeah. I'm thinking I haven't put them in the lamp. You have put them in the lamp because you put a, put a base coat on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, uh, oh, oh no. It's you. You're making me wait. I'm sorry. It's infectious. <laughs> it is. Oh, so this colour is... Oh, it's number three, Adam. I don't know what colour it is. He'll tell you in a minute. Oh, we're number 23. This is... Don't know. I don't know if it's Silly Billy or not. Silly no, Billy. No, it's number 10. It's... Silly Billy's 10. I know who that is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Does he know who that is yet? No. no. He doesn't know. No, we won't be telling you. Does he not know, know that he's no. he's got a colour? So Kirsty's dad, yeah. Billy has a Polish named after him, and he doesn't know about it. And he's, it's called Silly Billy. Silly Billy. Now, I know about it, my brother knows about it, my sisters know about it, his wife knows about it, but he doesn't know about it. <laughs> but how can he not know about it? Because he doesn't watch this channel! And he doesn't listen. And but he do, definitely doesn't are listen. Are you saying that he's never been on our I, website? No, never. Why? Really? Why would he sit there on the website thinking? Because Am I all of the because he must know that all of the polishers are, are, are named. He's, he's, my dad watches That's things savage. to do with. It's Savage. Which savage. one? Number three. Tw- twenty-three. Oh, twenty-three Savage. You said twenty-three, didn't 23 you? Twenty-three and number. Oh, three. number three, Swanky. I could have Swan- told you that. Do you know what? I thought he was Swanky, but I didn't dare say. I could have done my gate wrong. <laughs> That's why I never put my hand up at school. Swanky. Because I always thought yeah. I dare not say because I might be wrong. And that's and me. why I never put my hand up at school. Yeah. That's the wrong thing to do with girls and boys. Mm-hmm. Put your hand up. Because you don't be afraid. Yeah, but if you put me. your hand up and you said something wrong. Your mates would be like, what a dick! Yeah, they? they would. What are you on about? Yeah, what did you say that for? But... Then we're going to do two full white. So you haven't got to do no smile lines, no ombres or anything like that. Full colour. We're going to do two coats of each colour. And as if by magic, they will appear right now. Mm-hmm. Right, so I'm going to use the matte top coat from our collection. When you are using matte top coat, it is so much better to wipe off the sticky layer of your gel polish. You will get a better result. Now you can do inks on a shiny top coat. I just feel like they grab on a little bit more with a matte top coat. But like I say, I've not used these inks before. So this is gonna be a test. Pop my nose in the lamp. I need a little bit of clean up solution in a little dish. And then I'm going to use the Miko Aqua brush because it's going to be a nice shaped brush to agitate the ink and move it around and all that shebang. They have got, you know, a bit like, I want to say the old nail polishes because I just don't use nail polish anymore. But yeah, you know, like they have the little ball bearings in. Yeah. Got little ball bearings yeah. in to shake up the, yeah. the pigment. Make sure you do that because, you know, you want to agitate that. Right then, here we go. That's that one. Oh, look at the colour they make when they mix together, that purple. Ooh, we like. Oh, I like that one. That's nice. I'm just going to agitate them a little bit. So by putting a little bit of the cleanup solution on, it'll kind of like move it so you can then make it even more marble-like. You'll still get the colour, you don't want to overdo it, but I just want to sort of sweep round and get some nice little veins working. And then you can like draw through like this. So far, so good. I want to make sure you cover all the white as well. Not bad. Let's put a bit of this on and this one, the pink and the blue from the... Yeah, can you see how the pigment settles at the bottom of there? Give it a shake. <laughs> Until it all mixes up, yeah? I like that, you know. I'm not going to agitate it here. I want to put a bit of this on. But it looks like it fizzes. I know, it's like it... Like it did fizz. I'm not yeah. even kidding, it was fizzing. And I just do think that's, it's very strong, this pigment is. Look at that. But then what it does is it can, you kind of move around the pigment, slide it around. I think less is more. Yeah, that really stains. I wonder what that, the white one looks like over the top of that. 
Because that's clear, isn't it? Now this one's the white one. Oh, right. Well, it is. Can you see it's lightning it? Oh, yeah, look at that. Ooh, I like it. I like that because if you know, like, you think, oh, I've overdone it, and you can lighten it with that and still get a little bit of shimmer. I don't feel like it's got as much shimmer in, if I'm honest, than as the other one. Now, that's the thing. You can't knock these over. And with them having such long... Lids. Lids. I have a tendency to knock things over without having long lids. I quite like that. Do you like it? Ooh. I like that. Right, let's crack on. Do the other one. Oh, look at that. It's like, I love watching ink. It's, it's so crazy. Now, one thing I will say, it stains skin like to a blanket. So... <laughs> <laughs> that was the worst analogy you could ever get, like... I mean, no sense. <laughs> well, I'm sure Andrea can vouch for me that <laughs> on a blanket is pretty. Yeah, oh, it yeah. definitely, it, it definitely stinks. stinks. But I'm sure there could have been a better one. There somewhere. might, have, there probably was. It was the first thing that came out of my I brain. I just wasn't expecting. Sorry, it. sorry, sorry. Thanks <laughs> to a blanket. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. But you get what I mean. Yeah. It does. On, on skin, it really does stain. So just be careful of that. But really enjoy moving it around and just making these little vines and stuff. Because you kind of like push the ink into different ways. I like it. And let's have a bit of this one. Oh, do, you, I, do you know what? Oh, I love that bit. Hold on. Hold on. I'm going to go into that one that I didn't think I was going to use. The clear with the with the pigment. Oh, loving it. Didn't think I was going to use it. Absolutely insane. I like that you can create these little like puddles of pigment. I like it. I like it. I like it a lot. I'm going to have a go at doing it on these colours. So I always recommend if you're doing inks to do them on pale colours, but I want to see what happens with the paler colours on there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And all done. Just two seconds. I've got these ones as well. These are pastel inks. Look at them, they both have the kitty on that side. It's like, you know, that's the, that's the thing. And they have piglets, so I know the difference. The difference. Let's have a look. Oh, Andrea. I've, I've, does it. You take it back? <gasps> oh, I'll take it back. Can we see? No. Oh my God. I never knew there was such a thing as pale pinks showing up on dark. Apart from like a white. That's actually really nice. That one doesn't really... It shows up, but it's not like, you know... But look at the one with the pigment. Let me give that a shake. That's definitely settled. Well, it looks cool when it's, like, fizzing away. Yeah, yeah. I want to yeah, try this sort of dark blue on this colour. Oh, nice. I wonder if this... What does this do on there? Not bad. It looks like a bit geode, doesn't it? I think I prefer it on the white nail, if I'm completely honest, but I like the fact that you can yeah, use... Yeah, like the, it's still standing out just as much. It, like it, it being on a darker background doesn't sort of diminish it. These are Aurora ones. What? Look at that. What is this sorcery? I feel like I want to, but... Yeah, this has definitely got that geode. This is more marble. This has got that geode kind of vibe, definitely. I love that, though. Oh, it's a bit peacock. Oh, it's like a peacock. I like it. This bright colour, right. What's going to work on there? I want to put the pastels on it. See, I'm tap, tap, tapping just so it kind of feeds off the brush rather than brushing it. And it still does leave a purple tinge, doesn't it? Yeah, I like this.
But mm. I feel like... I, know, I think the shimmer looks better when it sort of just rims it. Yeah, and it's, it's, it's... You've got to, like, put your clean-up solution on to try and get it moved to create that edge. You know what I mean? That frame in it. See, I do love that, you know, it's a dark, it's not quite black, but then it leaves that gorgeous gold. It's like a bit antique. I don't know what I think. About what? About them. Hang on, you were just very excited about them? Yeah, on that colour. On mm. what colour? On that colour. Oh, right, okay. Let me look. See, I think you look dirty on that one. Mm. Let's see. Because, like, I, I love this. Mm. I just think this looks a bit... Mm. No. Well, I, yeah. I, don't, I, I don't think your design on it you see how it, it just looks like there's three drips? Do you know what I mean? Oh, there. Like, they're ringed slightly. I think that is making it look like something's been dripped on it. Yeah, it, I think I think because they just look dull, don't they? Because yeah, they're not bright like no, the other ones. not like them ones. So the, you're saying you prefer it just on the white? Yeah. Yeah. I like this, but I think the white really does show it up. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it obviously gives it that sort of faded look, like, which doesn't happen on the colour. No. You're not getting that gradu like no. gradient. Like, if I hadn't got any of the others, I'd like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Yeah. Because it looks a bit peacocky. Mm. Yeah? Mm. But that one, don't like it. Okay. Mm. So, in my professional opinion, I think we buff off the pigment off those two nails. And I did say that could happen. I did say, but I have enjoyed playing with them. Take off any of the dust. Obviously, not going to wipe them. Who do wipe them? No. You want um, you want stones? Yeah, I want stones. All stones. I want stones. All stones. Uh, and I want gloss. And gloss. Of course, you want gloss. Glossy top coat for madam. Yes, please. And stones for and madam. And stones. Yes. Here we go then. Going to use the. Oh, that was not good. Oh no. Oh no. Not. Knocked about. It was oh, going to not... happen. It was going to happen once it. Let's get a bit of the nail commuter tallies. I've got these stones are from Moonflare. These two are nail commie. I think we deserve some big ones on here. Yeah. So you just place the gel where you want it. So when you're working with shapes, you want to sort of kind of work out where you're going to place them. A good way to do it is lay them on the table next to each other and kind of come up with your design. And once you do that often enough, you'll just be able to wing it. 
wing it, yes, wing it. Nice. Right, pop me that in the lamp. Pop that in. So we're going to top coat now. Now this, this to me. It's a scary bit, putting the top coat over the top of the inks, because is it going to affect the inks? Is it going to smudge the inks? Because matte top coat does do that. It kind of smudges it a little bit, which actually looks quite cool if that's what you want. But I don't want it right now, so I'm hoping that the top coat doesn't smudge it. Okay. Hold your breath. You have to sort of, like, float it across. Yeah. I mean, to be fair, I don't think... I don't think it's moving at all. Because it's when you normally sweep back over once you've sort of laid mm. it down. That's when it normally goes weird. I'm just going to get these two done first before I do the stones. No, it's not, you know. That's good. That is good. However, pop that in the lamp. There is pigment on my top coat sure brush. Either. But do you know what you can do? You can have like one, a gel polish top coat that you use just for things like that, going over glitters, things like that, you know, that will contaminate it and just keep that one for that. Okay. And I'm going to do this, go over the ones with the stones. So we don't go over the stones, we go up to the stones. We just give them a little kiss. Bit of cuticle oil and you are done. Happy birthday Beautiful. nails for you. you. Didn't mention that, did we? Andrew's birthday's coming up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she accepts um, credit cards, mm -hmm. gift cards, PayPal. cash, PayPal, yeah. anything like that. Flowers, <laughs> chocolates. Flowers, chocolates, yeah. Anything. Yeah. Yeah. Sports cars. <laughs> <laughs> green Mustang. Yeah, green Mustang. <laughs> But there you are. I hope you've enjoyed this video and our little random okay. discussions about lots of weird and wonderful things in the world. Um, don't forget, we are on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, you know, all the social media business. Um, everything I've used today will be listed below with along with any discount codes or anything like that. I hope you've enjoyed my true and frank opinion on these inks and I'll see you in the next video. Ta-ra, duck! 
Yes, I've got a broken nail. Okay, yes, I've got a broken nail. <laughs> oh, Just leave it there. 